Oh, hey guys, I just finished filming a video that I don't even need to edit because I was just being so amazing and saying exactly what I wanted. So that's cool. I'm making myself a coffee and we're starting off another vlog today. Today is the day. Today. Give <clears throat> shot. Samson and Miss Kendall will uh, do a workout or something really quick. It's like Show us. What's up? <clears throat> this little guy's following me around. Come on. Watching some Twitch, Megan Hughes. Hello. Um, Lena's coming over tonight. Ooh. There was some tuna juice on the table there for Megan's wrap earlier. Okay, so I think um, I'm either gonna tattoo and do some tattoo designs or I'm gonna paint and possibly tattoo tonight. Alan is going to the 100 Gex concert and when we got the tickets, I um, I think it was like before their album dropped. Anyways, I listened to their new album and I was like, mm, I don't really like this. It's not really my like, kind of music anymore, so I'm not going. Um, and Alan's taking a friend. So instead, Lena's gonna come party with Samson and I tonight. Because I also didn't want to have to find a dog sitter. And I'm also like really attached to Samson. So come here, baby. So yeah. I was just kind of enjoying t today, having today off because I don't normally get um, today off. And I just kind of am enjoying, you know, taking it slow. Samson slept in this morning with us. I like when after I fed him breakfast this morning, he usually eats at 8. I was still so tired, so um, I took him coming to bed with us instead of going back to his crate because he would have just like screamed, not screamed, but he would have just been like too hyped, but he fell asleep and I slept until like 11 and then we went for a walk and I got really, uh, really cold. Samson got really wet. We took him like on the beach and he was loving it, um, but yeah. I'm excited for tonight, I'm thinking, I'm like really wanting to paint, but I also have this idea for this tattoo that I want to do on myself, but I'm also like, do I need to do that right now? I don't know, I haven't painted in a while, I should probably do something like that. But we'll see how Lena's feeling. I just had a smoothie and they're literally about to come over like in 20 minutes and then it's gonna be dinner time so I don't know how hungry they are hopefully not super hungry or I can just have a light dinner and eat more later but yeah it's hard when you wake up at literally like lunchtime to eat like two meals or three meals at a normal time anyways <clears throat> life's been good I've just been super super busy with Samson he like is literally like a baby so just been taking care of him my work schedule changed so i was working like a lot of days in a row until it changed and i've just been um kind of going through some personal stuff uh, uh, but i'm feeling better 
and I'm feeling like I want to do some fun things tonight. We also may go for a walkie-poo. I need to get Samson some more treats. So we might take him to the pet store where he can walk around. But yeah, life has been, life has been okay. Oh, also comment about the freaking, uh, okay, I tried to do the thing where like every day I get rid of the amount of items of that day if that makes sense so like march 1st i would get rid of one thing march 12th i would get rid of 12 things like every single day you do that until the last day and i tried to do that and let me just say i feel like that's low-key high-key just another form can be another form of like overconsumption because i was just like going through my stuff and i had already gone through like a lot of my clothes and so I didn't have much to get rid of and then I was just trying like to find anything I could to get rid of and then I was just like you know I actually really like this and if I get rid of it I'm gonna want to just like buy something similar to this very soon anyways so we're scratching that video idea because I like did some filming for it and I'll I'll add it in right here for you. Yeah, I just realized that, I don't know, I feel like it's like counterproductive and maybe it's just because I don't have that many possessions compared to someone like with a, a bigger house. Like our place is pretty small and the stuff I do have is like really well thought out. I did get rid of like a ton of clothes and I didn't count that because it was like before I got the video idea. So if I would have done it before then, it probably would have amounted to about that much, about that many items, but I don't know, I had already done it, so what are you gonna do? Really got me this mug. It says somebody loves you. Now that Easter's over, I'm gonna try to hit up Michael's and get all the bunny stuff on sale. Cause I love bunnies. Okay, I didn't film when <clears throat> Lena was here because I kind of forgot and we were like busy doing things, but I made us a really yummy like mac and cheese with some mushrooms and then they were like drawing and I started tattooing myself and I was doing some touch-ups and then I gave myself a new one just like touching up ones that I did like when I was starting out like using my machine and like trying it out when I didn't have that great of needles and so I wanted to like make them look better because I was not proud of them and obviously like I'm kind of like advertising my art especially if it's on my um uh, arm, you know, I just like wanted to feel confident about it. So yeah, I did like I touched up the 777 and then the coffee plant and then I did this bear from my flash a little teddy bear Which I'm really proud of and happy with how it turned out. I actually haven't looked at it in the mirror, but Looking at it from here. It looks pretty good. So yeah, Lena didn't stay over for very long but um because they have to wake up early in the morning, but it was fun to hang out with them and like talk. And now I've just been watching YouTube while finishing up my tats on myself. And um, yeah, Samson is in his kennel right now, resting while I do my tattoo stuff. And then I'll take him out and cuddle him obs until Alan gets home. But yeah, I'm feeling good about it feeling good they look like so much better now I should actually go look in the, the mirror and check this out it's 
weird when I'm tattooing and I'm like, oh, and then the ink gets in like, I'm like, how did it smudge all the way over here? But, you know. Okay. My arm is going to be like so sore tomorrow. Like every spot. There's the boy. Oh my god. There we go. So there's a teddy bear. We got the coffee plant. Oh, it looks so good. And then the 777. But yeah. And let me close this. I'm gonna take Samson out and then um, finish cleaning up. Wow. Okay. Hi, guys. It's a new day. Um, I'm here with my baby Samson and um, we just got back from a walk um, Samson got attacked by a big dog and it was really weird um, it was really weird um, so we were like walking and then um, this old guy had like two dogs one really big one and then one medium sized one he like yelled like get that little dog out of here or something like that and I was like okay so then I was like walking with Samson and then I was headed towards the other side of the road to you know because he told me to get the little dog out of there and he was like no I'm, I'm just kidding like it's fine and then we were walking past and then he was like talking to us he was like uh, he's really good but sometimes um, he'll pounce and then the dog like literally fucking attacked Samson and Samson was like crying and he was on his harness so I was like trying to pull his harness up as fast as I could and just like grab him in my arms um but it was like the dog just like kept going at him and it was like Samson was just like crying and I like just like gra eventually like grabbed him and just um was able to like move away and inspect him and he didn't have any bite marks or anything so I think he was, like, doing a good job of, like, I don't know, making sure the dog wasn't getting at him or, like, I don't know, somehow, like, Alan was able to, like, grab the big dog and, like, pull him away, too, and I didn't even notice, and I feel, like, literally so bad, like, and the old guy was, like, so weird after he was, like, oh, like, is everyone good? Is everyone happy? And I was like whispering to Samson, I was like, it's okay, it's okay. And he's like, it's not okay. I'm like, dude, like literally just leave me alone. <laughs> I just feel so bad for Samson. And I'm so happy that he didn't get hurt because, yeah. And so then we just like kept walking. And then like we got a little bit further away and I just started like crying so hard. And I just like feel so bad, like. I had like a feeling that like I should just like move to the other side not even about the dog just about the old guy because he just seemed like really weird and um yeah just happy Samson's okay I would have like had to, uh, it would have been such a big thing and then I was worried that he's gonna get like seriously hurt but yeah I don't know <laughs> I just feel like really was shaken up from that and um yeah and I'm just like it's so irresponsible to have a dog that you know acts like that and to not tell like the people walking their dog first of all and then also like he was like pretty old like he couldn't hold the dog back himself so it's like you need to like put a muzzle on him why, like, you can't walk him because he's just going to talk attack other dogs. Like, that's really bad. Like, you know? Not even just for, like, injury, but also, like, if he bites them, they're going to have to go get, like, a bunch of stuff anyways because they could get um, infected with something. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm just glad Samson's okay, but that really scared me and I felt, like, I don't know, really bad and also really awkward and like I just like didn't even look at the guy after I just like took him and started walking away and I just feel bad because like Samson is such a good dog like he knows like 
a bunch of commands and like is really good on the leash and is really good with other dogs and I just don't want it to be like a setback of now he's gonna be like cautious of other dogs I don't know this is like unrelated but he took a poop on his walk just now and there was a literal rubber band in it like he had eaten a rubber band well, on a walk or something that he found on the ground. There's, like, so much trash in the city and he just, like, tries to carry it all and sometimes I don't catch him. Ugh. I don't know why. I just, like, feel so bad. I already have not been having a great few days, so... And then I'm going to have to go to work and leave him in his kennel. And I just feel <laughs> really bad. But anyways, <laughs> I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll have another video soon whenever I feel like making one. Um, probably like fairly soon because I'm going to have the house to myself, um, in a bit, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and are having a great day, and I'll see you guys soon, thank you, bye.